Alrighty, got the pumpkin king in the end back today. Thought I'd do a little quick massy update. <laughs> it's always something. But anyways, pumps in, dry, that's fine. Radiator's fine. My last video you've probably seen. Decided to put injectors in it and I'm gonna have the pump. Pump done also, so. I'm still, I thought it was the lift pump on the other side making oil. I'm coming to the conclusion that it's not, it's the injector pump. So anyways, I uh, ended up taking the hood back off the battery box. Injectors were pretty fair to get out except for the back two. They were a, a bare. I'll have this all cleaned up before I put it back together. I didn't, yeah, I'm not very happy the way I got it clean. I'm putting here to do it, but it is what it is. So here's an injector out of the 1130. They're just, I don't know when they've been out. I'm sure they have once in their life. They've got anesthes on them. My cousin anesthes everything but what the, had an issue with these these sit I see if I can get you sit down in there to basically go between your injector and your head to seal it had two of them stuck in there they did not come out with the injector so my dad made this fancy tool for me just pull, pull, put it in there. Grab the bottom of that brass washer. And basically, let's see if we can get this. Basically, that's what it is. Popped them right out, them last two. Of course, them last two, everyone, which everyone's got different experiences, but water pumps here them's the furthest away it seems like them's always the hardest ones to get out my diesel mechanic friends have told me the same thing that's always their assumption but i had to take the battery box off to get in there and see so which is probably better than i can when i go to torque them down i have a better angle at them to torque them so that's about it i'm gonna clean all this shit up and then uh and then uh I'll send the pump off it wasn't a horrible job but I want to get it back going there and get in there and wash all this shit too and this here so I just I grease and grime just bugs me to death but Anyways, just part of it. There's all the pieces, lines, more lines. So, there's the calf pump. I think when I take it to the diesel shop, I'm gonna have them put bigger injectors or nozzles in it and probably crank the pump up a little bit, what they will. I still warranty it. So, but next step is you always want to plug this kind of stuff off. You don't want stuff to drop down your cylinder. Just get some uh, cleaning agent and clean it all up and get the pump set up and clean all my other stuff up. So, well, uh, we're getting there. I needed it done anyway, so. Can't be nothing but a plus, but like, great, comment, subscribe. I'm King Indiana is.